but I'm going to be streaming Pokken today because this game is awesome and I've been playing it lately. Um, I actually need to practice my combos a little bit first because they're not perfect. And I need them to be perfect because Gengar, Gengar combos are kind of hard and I actually realized that I lose like a lot when I drop them. <laughs> Like, I drop them, and uh, usually I lose the game after I drop them. <laughs> so, like, one thing I noticed is that comboing Suicune is particularly hard. Like, the way I usually do the combo doesn't really work on it. I say as I do it. <laughs> I say as I link it perfectly. It's like the way the Suicune falls, and I've had this issue in uh, Dragon, I mean, uh, not Dragon Ball, Blaze Blue 2, and really any fighting game. It's just certain characters' hitboxes just don't work the same way. <laughs> like, they, and they make certain combos from certain characters with. Like that, like stuff like that'll happen. So, like, you have to be really precise when you do it to Suicune. Or else you'll get that, and you won't get, like, the knockdown you want. Like, that's, this combo is supposed to phase shift for me. But for some reason, they just fall through the sec- Suicune just falls through the second punch if I do it too late. See? It's supposed to phase shift them. Now that combo works perfectly fine on like Pikachu and Lucario, like characters with normal hitboxes. But like Suicune and Charizard and Machamp, I think it's just the characters with bigger hitboxes because they hit the ground faster. Like their hitbox touches the ground like before it looks like it does. <laughs> so they're getting hit by one and then their hitbox is shifting and they're touching the ground. Which is a little annoying. It just means that I have to, like, make sure I'm hitting them at the top of the punches. Like, at the top of where they'll hit. Which is just a little bit harder. It's a good thing I played fighting games already before trying to play this, because this, uh, this seems like something that would, like, absolutely piss me off. <laughs> Oh, thanks for the follow, Mad Marshtomp. Appreciate it. It's just so weird. And I only have to worry about this with the big characters. It doesn't... Like, I haven't had this happen when I'm doing this combo to, like, Mewtwo or Decidueye. Like, it's literally only the really big characters. But yeah, I mean, I've only been playing the game for like three or four days now. So I'm not expecting to have, like, everything perfect. It's like, stuff like negative edging. I feel like if I didn't play the character that's there on the um, right hand side of my video, I mean of my overlay, if I didn't main Carl and Blaze Blue, this character would be like, like Carl was 10 years ago when I first learned him. <laughs> There we go. 
Then I have my corner combo. This is a little more consistent. And I love the way you just kind of punch him and bounce him against the wall. <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. You can call me that. That's actually what most people call me. <laughs> like when uh, they use my tag. It's just you. It's easier than saying the whole thing. I thought about doing this for the bigger characters. But it doesn't work on Charizard. Like, I can't do it. Like just doing that and then hitting him. Actually, it looks like it doesn't work on Sweetman either. Oh, yeah, it does. This combo is like non existent on Charizard, though. So annoying. <laughs> That's who I really should be practicing combos against. Because Suicune has pretty much the same problem as Charizard when I'm trying to combo Suicune. But Charizard is like worse. <laughs> Cause I always like when I go to rejump it like whiffs like that and I don't know why. It's like weird stuff like that. <laughs> and then again the big bodies I can't just like go into that. Maybe if I did J A instead. JY. Well, if I let it come out. Yeah, Gengar is cool. He has like negative edges and, you know, can't just frame cancels. He has like a lot of involve frames, like that's involve when he goes into the ground like that. He can do that off of any A normal. Except for the Shadow Punch. Shadow Punch is pretty middle. Hypnosis is funny because I can do Hypnosis, let it activate, and then I can go into the ground afterward. Like, if they're doing, like, an attack, say. Like, I still cancel it. I see. By the way, uh, do Pokemon play, like, Tekken in a way? Um, I think Dual Phase does, kind of. Like, I get Tekken feels from uh, Dual Phase. But it's still, like, wildly different. Obviously, because uh, Tekken's a 3D fighter, and it's just, you know, 2D. But, like, the way the move lay the button layout is, it, um, reminds me of Tekken. Hmm. It'd be so nice if I could actually do that. I mean, alternatively, I could just sacrifice the damage against Charizard. Oh, hey. <laughs> Relius. <laughs> yeah, that actually has armor. And every character can do it. It's called a counterattack. Actually, that works exactly like a... Focus attack did in Street Fighter 4. It's literally focus attack. You hold it as long as you want and let it go. It has armor as long as you're blue. Gets beat by throws. It's actually just focus attack. 
Gengar's dash, though, is in ball, like when he uh, turns invisible. I think uh, backdash, when I was watching that video, the guy said it was frame 1 to 22. And forward dash is frame 5 to 26. Or something like that. Yeah, you can always just dash cancel the um, counter attack. Yeah, so many death cancel options. Oh, you had to change your name? What's up, Fooly? That's a problem I do run into, though. Like, when I'm trying to hold it, and then I uh, end up holding the uh, punches, so it comes out immediately. Also, uh, anytime Gengar turns invisible, he is invincible. <laughs> so, like, anytime he vanishes, he's invincible. So, he has a lot of a lot of options to keep himself safe. It's just hard to use him, kind of. I kind of like this low float. I kind of like that. I could probably use that to, like, blow up throws. Except for like seismic toss, because Charizard will just scoop you out of the sky. I gotta look up like what people do to accommodate for that. For like combo and Charizard, it's so weird. Uh, did you notice all the check Tekken moves in this game? I did. I forgot who has this move, but I definitely recognize that. Uh, I know Gardevoir has a lot of moves from Asuka. Like I 100% recognize those. Um, I know there's specifically somebody who does that, like that button combination. Like the sweep into the push. I forgot who, but somebody definitely does that. Try out Charizard's normal throw. Um, let's see. Make him throw. I'm confused. <laughs> so wait, is there a button that's supposed to start the recording? No, what button? <laughs> he does a sweep and a push. Oh, really? other ones that I noticed. I know Lucario has a couple of moves. He has a move from Oscar too. The uh, up push. Uh, can you rank the characters from hardest to easiest? I want to pick up Empoleon. I'm a huge fan of water types. Um, well, I've only been playing for four days, so I don't know if Empoleon's per se easy. He seems like it from his combo, um, like his combo challenges, he seems pretty easy. Lucario is 100% easy. Lucario's easy. Pikachu is not super hard either. Um, my champ's pretty straightforward too. 
Machamp's easy in the way that you play, but I feel like he's really hard to win with. <laughs> he's a grappler, so, you know, fighting games and grapplers. Uh, I just want you to see Charizard's normal throw. It's hilarious. Also, do you know Pikachu's forward Y? Yes, it's, um, what's it called? Jet Upper? All the Mishima's uppercut. <laughs> like, the one that all of them have. <laughs> Pikachu has, like, he can just do it, too. Just like them, he can hit him, like, four times with it. <laughs> Uh, if you want to main Napoleon, you need a good secondary. Yeah, I've heard from like watching, um, like watching tournament videos. Napoleon's not supposed to be all that good. <laughs> oh, I know that one. That's a Fang. That's a Fang move. I played Fang, so I know that one. <laughs> Devil Gems, one, two, one plus two grand. <laughs> I mean, but then again, people said that, but I did see, um, it was a tournament recently. It was like in 2019. There was some guy who was doing like mad work with Empoleon. But, I mean, I guess you're right, because once he got the top eight, he switched to Septile. So, <laughs> yeah. I mean, the low tier and the high tier. Yeah, Blaziken has, like, all of Law's stuff. He has, like, a lot of stuff from Law. I definitely noticed that, too. Like, a lot of stuff from Law. I forgot, Scythor has some stuff from uh, some Tekken characters, too, but I forgot what. I mean, I imagine all of them do. Blaziken is a glass cannon. Blaziken is, like... A burning car. <laughs> like, you just burn yourself to death while you kill someone else. <laughs> um, you two has Kazuya's Hell Sleep. Yep, I did notice that. I don't think Shadow U2 has that one, but I did notice that. Garchomp has some moves from Brian. I like my champ. I wanted to play him, but then I found Gengar and. I always go for the trickier characters before I start learning the um, more straightforward ones. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff that you have to know about neutral. Like, you can, my chance to dodge sucks, but you can dodge. Um, you know, you can still do the counter attacks and dodge. Every uh, Pokemon has a different moveset in neutral, so like... You won't necessarily have this stuff in um, dual phase, but in field phase, this is like your neutral tools. But yeah. And also, that's all I would want to use is close combat the whole time I'm playing him. I wonder if I can close combat after that. Why did it drop her? <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's gonna work. Braxton is very rewarding the more you play them. Yeah, Braxton looks pretty broken. <laughs> Like, not broken, but Bryson looks really, really good. Yeah, Libre has Julia's launcher. And Bryson has, uh, Shao Yu. That double hit move, where she, like, swings her hands up and spins around and then swings her hands down. Bryson has that.
He got that air grab, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. I doubt this will work. Yeah, no. I'm just trying to figure out how I'm supposed to end this combo. <laughs> that just auto switched the things it does. <laughs> That's not a bad combo. Leafeon has Yoshi with these moves. Leafeon's in this game. I didn't even know that was an assist. Uh, actually, Leaper is basic. It's basically King and Julia. Yeah, I can see that. It's kind of annoying to fight too. Leaper is really good. <laughs> I fought Leaper a couple of times when I was uh, first doing right. I would get my back blown out by Pikachu Leaper. I had no idea what I was supposed to do. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna do some ranked matches. I recommend playing who you like playing as. Yeah. I mean, I like playing as Gengar. He just seems like he's gonna take a little bit of work for me to get fully used to, you know? But yeah, just hit up some rank matches a little bit. I think I have a decent understanding of the game now. I should have teleported that. Gengar's fun. <laughs> Thank you. My first fighting game I ever played was Smash Bros. I played a lot of Smash Bros in my life because all my friends only played Smash Bros. <laughs> but my first fighting game was actually Street Fighter. I love that move. That move's fun. I was about to say, this is where it gets fun. <laughs> when you turn into uh, Mega Gengar. That Mega Gengar is cheap as I don't know what. <laughs> in both phases. He's really cheap in both phases. <laughs> uh, I think my first fighting game was Smash. I might have forgot about one that I played once and never again. I played uh, Street Fighter Alpha 3 when I was 5 years old. That's when I started playing fighting games. It was my first fighting game. And then I played a lot of Street Fighter in my life too, but anime fighters are more fun to me now. And this. I love poking. <laughs> I've only been playing for a couple of days, but I do like it a lot.
Who do you play in uh, Smash Bros, Billy Bob? Uh, Pikachu and Peach. Nice. Those are solid choices. Ow. Oh, right. Everything's a critical hit. Because of Victini. I forgot it does that. I went through the kick. Gengar's cheap. <laughs> I really did just go through that. That should have hit me. <laughs> Peach is fun and Pikachu is fun. Very true. They look fun. Um, I used to play Pikachu a long time ago. Like, in 64, I played Pikachu. And then Melee, they dropped Sheik. And Pikachu was a rap. <laughs> and I've made Sheik ever since. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, he is definitely mashing. Also, uh, if you didn't know, Gengar's ultimate in this game is a command grab, and it does a lot of damage. <laughs> and there's nothing more that I like than a good command grab that leads to a butt ton of damage. <laughs> oh, I ranked up. Nice. Twenty-five burst attack KOs. Oh, I'm close to rank up, okay. So I become E3 next game. This also confuses me, but I mean I know why they do it, so that you don't get bored waiting. But I was just like, why can I turn that off? <laughs> At first, because at first I thought that it wasn't going to keep searching while I was in the match. Like with the computer, but it keeps searching while you're fighting the computer too. So once I realized that, I was like, oh, okay, that's not bad. D5. And I have not fought Chandelure yet, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> He's a zoner, and apparently Gengar struggles with zoners, so... <laughs> Bullying him. <laughs> oh, that grabbed me out of the ground. Hypnosis. Call oh, Espeon with my plus frames. Hit Hypnosis again. Get my synergy up. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, right. I forgot you had that. <laughs> Uh, also, Gengar, Gengar's uh, homing attack is mid and high involve, which is uh, really funny. <laughs> if they're doing like a mid or high fireball, I can just dash under it. Like that. <laughs> I have a laser now, too. <laughs> I saw him do a homing attack. I was like, you're about to get command grabbed. <laughs> Not bad. Chandelure actually doesn't feel that bad to fight. And then again, I'm still in the lower ranks, so I take it with a grain of salt, but Chandelure didn't seem too, too bad. Like, I have options for some of the stuff he was doing. The laser, I just kind of got a block, but, <laughs> you know, when he's throwing out all the little fireballs, I can just kind of run through those. Sometimes you get S rank opponents, lol. You know, I'm actually okay with that. You don't get better if you don't take some L's. That's one thing I've learned. I've taken many L's in many fighting games in my day. Well, they put me against a D5 to rank up. That's nice. <laughs> But I would never have gotten as good as I did at, you know, the games that I play if I didn't get beat up sometimes, so. Oh, I jumped. Why did I jump? Ouch. I'm out. Hoping you wouldn't die so I could get my um, stuff. Yeah, honestly, um, you learn a lot more when you lose than when you win. Some of the stuff that I do with him, I'm like, wow, that shouldn't be a thing I can do. Yeah, not this time. Oh man, I wasted my super. Ah, I tried to teleport away. I was gonna say, yeah, Gengar struggles with <laughs> losing the zoners. He can't even lose correctly. 
I'm bringing on phase me. Okay. I could have killed there. Ow. Oh, I'm good. Just stop mashing. Never mind. I win. <laughs> Never mind. Hooray, I'm E3 now. No, you understand. I really thought I was about to die there. <laughs> I was like, up, oh, I mashed. He's about to kill me. <laughs> Should have just blocked. <laughs> Uh, losing helps you improve, sure. Sucks to lose, but it helps you grow as a player. I agree. And I, honestly, that's helped losing suck a lot less for me. Like, I'm, I think about it as, okay, what can I learn from, you know, you know I lost, but what, what did I learn from that? What can I do now? And, you know, it's made me a lot better player in a lot of different games because of it. Because, you know, I go in with the mindset, like, I'm going to get beat up a lot. How do I, how do I stop getting beat up? And then there's Shadow Mewtwo and it's Pillars of Death. I thought I could go under it. He just ran into a shadow ball. <laughs> I actually really like this support set too for Gengar. Of course, I don't really know much about how it's supposed to work, but ow. I probably shouldn't have did that. Oh, okay. We're just gonna keep doing that. Got it. <laughs> Damn it. It happened. I was doing the counter attack to dodge through and then I was holding X for too long so he tried to do the punches. <laughs> Instead of giving me the um, counter attack again. Ouch. Alright. I'm trying to dash through it. <laughs> Instead of blocking it. I should just block it. I thought that that was a lot less safe. <laughs> uh, also, you're ranking up with racking up the W's. Gengar must be top tier. Um, you know, from what I've seen, I've gotten mis mixed like feelings about that. Like some people think Gengar is really good, and some people think Gengar is not that's so good. I saw him in a top eight, actually a grand finals at some tournament in 2018. So he can't he can't be that bad. <laughs> Uh, the sword is one of the best characters. Oh yeah, Asia Slash. I was watching tournament play of that character. I was like, what is going on? How do you deal with this? Because it was just this stuff happening left and right. And I was like, I can't, I can't tell what's happening. <laughs> like, what are you supposed to do? It was like, okay, he's doing an attack. Okay. I do a counter attack. It's like, oh, well, this one pierces. This one grabs you. It's like, what? What? <laughs> Gengar is quite godlike, but you have to know what you're doing. Yeah, I definitely... Ow. Notice that. You definitely have to know what you're doing with Gengar for him to be good. Ow. <laughs> you just gonna send in shield. I'm gonna grab you. I'm gonna grab you again. <laughs> This is clearly the way that I'm going to have to fight you. Yes, I got the combo. 
det er i hvert fald klart. Vi kan kigge ham. So this matchup looks like it's rough from the champ. Because I can just kind of throw shit at him. Uh, Bryson has a lot of things to do with stuff. Yeah, Bryson seems quite good too. Like, really good. Oh, my legs. Hello, Leafeon. How are you doing? Gengar is too adorable. Even his losing animation is just way too cute. I know, right? Like, it's hilarious. I love how he just goes into the ground and just sits there with his feet dangling out. <laughs> uh, that's why Bryson is rewarding and good, because you could always play better. Yeah. I, it looks like Bryson has a tool for literally every situation. Uh, since when did you start playing Pokin? Uh, oh, hey, Solon, there a long time no see. Uh, I started playing Pokin four days ago. <laughs> so this is still relatively new for me. But uh, I'm really liking it. This game's really fun. <laughs> Gengar is really fun, like just in general. He's just one of those characters. Good, this game is underrated as fuck. Yeah. Like, I agree. I honestly did not think it was as good as it is. Like, it looked fun, but I didn't think it was as good as it is. Ouch. I'm gonna enter your game. <laughs> I'm gonna summon Espeon. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Charizard punching me in the face. <laughs> Yeah, I know, right? I didn't get bored of the game that I normally play, per se. Like, I still love Blaze Blue. Ouch. I'm just sitting over here licking the ground. Okay. This is going rather badly. Did that combo? I think that comboed me just now. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, the game is, yeah, it's relatively easy to pick up. It's just, um, you know, getting getting down to the nitty gritty is <laughs> the hard part, but that's what most fighting games. This game's easy to pick up in the way that, like, you don't have to learn super difficult uh, inputs and things. The execution barrier for some of the combos are pretty high, but again, you don't really need to do those combos to start. Like, picking up the game, it seems pretty easy, like, to start with. But then, like, once I started trying to learn all these advanced Gengar combos and Gengar tech, I was like, oh, there's a lot here. There's a lot to unpack. <laughs> Uh, I started actually learning the game this week. Oh, me too, Leafeon. I just started it. Uh, I think it was Thursday I bought the game. And it is now Monday. Uh, yeah, we can battle. Uh, I see Nova Nut and Navy Dogman want to battle. 
Uh, I am down to battle. I will battle Nova Nut first, since he asked first, and then we can play Navy Doll. I should have charged that. got this game two weeks ago. Yeah, I'll go ahead and make it after this. I'm still in ranked right now. Uh, I didn't see the message before I started this game. I've already played 50 hours. I don't think I've played that much yet. Oh god, my goodness. I'm more under that. That was cute. I'll give you that. I hate this character. Do you know how to CADC? Uh, I don't know what CADC means, but maybe. Because <laughs> I looked up how to do most of the like advanced stuff, because I started watching tournament play and then I was watching them like cancel stuff, like canceling home attacks and doing all this other stuff. So I was like, oh, how do you do that? <laughs> so I might know. Uh, counter-attack dash cancel? Yes. Yes, I do know how to do that. Um, it's a little difficult, but I'm trying to get to it. Um, set to anywhere. Set versus code. What should I make the versus code? Let's make it Gengar. <laughs> that can be the versus code. I think this is how you're supposed to do, like, lobby matches. Because I haven't seen, like, a legitimate lobby yet. Unless it's group, that makes sense. <laughs> I'll create one. Uh, basic. Let's make that like. Actually, I mean, I guess it's fine if it stays on that. Uh, now give it a password. The password will be Juke Gengar. <laughs> if that'll all fit. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna leave it like that. Juke Gang. <laughs> Um, yeah, that can stay random. Continuous battles can be on. Um, okay. Yeah, just use the code, uh, Juke Gang. J-Y-U-U-K-G-E-N-G. I'll make that the name of it, too. I'm in, a uh, group matches now. Because I think this is the lobby system in this game. Oh, hi, uh, Yuhazumidu. Thank you for the, uh, host. Appreciate it. So, yeah, password is Juke Gang. Name of the group is Juke Gang. Only person, really? <laughs> Well, I mean, when I have a name like Juke, Juke in 67, I have that problem too. I've had people call me all types of stuff. <laughs> Do what you did before, not the group. Oh, go back to friendly battle. But I wanted to make groups because other people wanted to play too. I'll play you first because I'm pretty sure I can choose who I fight in the group. But like, I wanted to like make a group at least so everybody could get in. But uh, Nova Nut, I will play with you first. That is happening.
group ID. Uh, the name of the group is Juke Gang, and the password for it is Juke Gang. <laughs> and I have it set to anywhere. Hang on, I'll type it into the um, chat. Press the group. Uh, what about the? Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, I got it. Four five eight zero five eight four five eight three three seven four seven. There we go. I think that's right. Thank you. Appreciate that. Learning more and more every day. Oh wait, how do I get back to the other menu? I must—I shouldn't have hit battle. I think that's what I did wrong there. <laughs> I had to make a new account because my previous accounts wouldn't accept payment or anything. Oh no, that's annoying. So stay in the computer battle. Because I kind of wanted to fight Nova Nut first, because he asked first. Uh, is there a way that I choose, like, who I fight in groups, or is that, um, like, not how it works? Okay, so there's not a way to choose. Uh, the way it works is when you hit battle, anyone else who hits it can battle you. Oh, okay. What is the password for the group? It is the same as the name. So it is... I think I capitalized the J. Got a challenger. Ooh, Chandelure. Oh, this is Navy. I just played you. And, um, I think it was in ranked matches we played. Like, I hit battle and now we are in a battle. That makes sense. I just didn't know if there was a way to, like, make, if there was, like, a lobby system or something where you can choose who you fight. Oh, that pierces, okay. I don't know who I'm battling now, Japanese person. Uh, I believe you're battling uh, Yuhazamiru. <laughs> I guess so. I guess everybody just join the group and see who gets lucky. <laughs>
Oh shoot. My dark rides new, so let me know if it needs any uh, polishing over. Uh, what's the code again? His juke gang seems to be too long. Okay, uh, group ID. Hang on. No, it should just be juke gang. That should work. It might. The J, I think, is capitalized, though. Uh, try doing that. I'm not sure if I capitalized it or not. Oh shoot, I pressed rematch. Whoops. <laughs> okay, everybody I play, I'll do two matches. So I'll do a best of two, or best of three, and then, you know, move on to the next person. I think that's the fairest way to do it, since it's like random. <laughs> Thank you. The movement is very interesting, but the SM2... Oh, smart grab. Actually, uh, everything went perfectly for me. <laughs> uh, why would you burst there again? <laughs> Ooh, overheat. I did a lot of damage. I was just trying to snipe him out of the air, honestly. <laughs> I was like, I don't know, because he's swinging. <laughs> Good games, Navy Dog. That was fun. Alright, so let's see who we come up across next. Alright, now we have Nova Nut. Shadow Mewtwo. Ooh, that's scary. Uh, I beat top layers with my Rusty Dark Ride, but I'm literally so new to that matchup. Alright, I actually don't know what to do against Shadow Mewtwo, because every time I fight him, he does something new that just kind of breaks my everything. So, we're going to see how this goes. <laughs>
Oh. Didn't know he could do that. <laughs> that is an interesting move, that tornado. Have you played the Wii U version before? A very, very little amount. I played like a sig not a significant amount. I played like one day. Because my friend had bought it. <laughs> Your Gengar is good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, Shadow Mewtwo is a... Uh, <laughs> this seems pretty interesting <laughs> to deal with. I honestly have no idea what I was supposed to do there. His tornado has armor on it, too, because he was blue, right? Like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that. Shadow Mewtwo seems, uh, pretty good. <laughs> so I'm assuming that this matchup is specifically what they were talking about when they said Gengar struggles with zoners. <laughs> because I don't know what I was supposed to do there. Alright, Unomas. How do you deal with Shadow Mewtwo? Like, any advice for fighting him? <laughs> uh, Shadow Mewtwo, a boss character, keep that in mind. True, true. Outzone him and space him out, basically. Really? Can Gengar do that? Because <laughs> I tried it. He was just kind of walking around. <laughs> boss characters don't matter, LMAO. That's true. I mean, he definitely seems pretty good compared to, like, some of the other characters. <laughs> he seems to have some of their, uh, options. Stay back and attack. Okay. I don't know. Like, I was doing that, but it wasn't working. Well, I guess it was, because you, you actually weren't hitting me either. But... <laughs> That was really good spacing on that. Ooh. The dive kick. Now, would my anti-air have stopped that? Because I don't know. It seems like all the... Uh, when characters are in synergy burst, uh, all my Y buttons, they kind of armor it. So, like, Gengar's anti air is like up Y. Uh, and burst shadow ball and up Y is good. 
but you need to go for CA piercings and five by setups and burst if you want to do good. Okay. I still need to learn all that stuff. I, I have seen some Gengars doing that. Like, I saw a Gengar on Twitch not too long ago. Oh, that's going to be a lot of damage. <laughs> I probably should block more. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, I thought about it after he did the pillar. I was like, huh, I probably should have just, like, you know, not done anything here. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Okay, now that I know that, I probably should have did something. Uh, Smash was tiring me. Okay. <laughs> Angry candle noises. <laughs> well, that was fun. Good game, Nova. I actually learned a lot in that match. So, knowing that the initial hit of the pillar does not actually do hit stun, that's really important. <laughs> like, that's actually really good for me to know. <laughs> Cause I can just dash and be safe from the uh, like when you trigger it. All right, now we got Leafy on the Sweetcoon. Sweetcoon's cool. Same to you, Leafy on. Good luck and have fun. <laughs> uh, there was a time that I could remember the Smash community was legit scared that Pokemon would replace Smash. Yeah. I thought it was bad at first because of the startup and people were just kind of jumping, but in certain circumstances, Shadow Punch seems alright. You should do the Shadow Ball up close then grab, where it's like 85% of the time. There is a little bit of lag, I, I definitely feel it. Because I've seen it before, I've seen how it goes out. I thought it only hit on the ground, so I was going to try to jump. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. I did not expect that. <laughs> like, I hit him, and then I pressed X again, and I ran around so we <laughs> and did it again. And I was like, um, that's, that wasn't on purpose. <laughs> Oh, 
power beam. battle someone but I it makes me battle the CPU oh there might not be a uh, four people in anymore is it a best of three yeah yeah I was gonna do a best of three title. Setting her to none was definitely the move. Because <laughs> she used to talk way too much, even when I put her on the middle setting. I was like, I'll let her talk a little bit, and she just, no. <laughs> she just constantly talked still. It's like, yeah, I'm going to turn you off now. <laughs> Summon Espeon, and then I, I tried to summon Espeon, then block, but I think I got burst, and <laughs> neither one happened. <laughs> that was really close.
I can't go under that one. <laughs> That's good to know. All right, one to one. <laughs> All right, first game was close. That game I got kind of destroyed. So now I gotta bring it back and make the next game at least close. <laughs> Yeah, this is group. That was a good set. Good games, Leafeon. I was like focused. <laughs> I was like, alright, how could I how can I win this? What's the next up? It's okay, Leafy Young, because that second game, you destroyed me. I got bodied that second game. <laughs> I was like, all right, let me act like I learned something over the last couple of days. <laughs> trade-off. It was such a good game. I honestly think it could have went either way. He's a super cool character. I think he's super dope. So I decided to play him. 
like I was watching the different characters and poking and I was like that looks really cool and fun so I'm gonna do that it looks really open-ended and that's what I really like in my characters He has a lot of ball too. Like, that's kind of wild <laughs> how much ball he has. Of course, you have to know how to use it, but it's on, like, everything. But, yeah. I don't know if you know anything about the other characters that I have down here, but they're all, in their respective games, they leave a lot open for, like, to play around with. Like, you have a lot of options for how you can do pressure and zoning. Like, they just have options, pretty much. And Gengar seems like a character that just has options, and I like that. <laughs> well, most of you are Smash Prep players, so I'm sure you know about uh, Sheik. She doesn't really have those options anymore, but she used to. <laughs> and I still like her because... I don't really play them because they're good, I play them because I like them, and they just happen to have a lot of options, but I realized that I'm the archetype I like. <laughs> she has options though, she does, she does have a lot of options still. Just nowhere near as many as she used to have, like in Smash 4 and early Ultimate, before all the nerfs. Cheek equals needs buffs, 100%. Just give me, like, Bouncing Fish, like, more knockback, and she'd be great. Like, that's all that she really needs. Like, I feel like if you're off stage and you get hit by Bouncing Fish at, like, 70, it should probably kill you. <laughs> but that's not always the case. She's really good. Yeah. I mean, Smash 4, she was broke. <laughs> like, I'm not even gonna joke about that. She was... She needed to be nerfed from Smash 4, but I don't think she needed the nerfs she got, like, going into Ultimate. I think they went a little overboard with it. Like, they took her combos and took knockback off of some of her moves, and I was like, she already doesn't have that much knockback. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, it is what it is. I still play her. Because Rage? Probably. No, not really, but the buffs really helped her. Yeah, the ones in the most recent patch were, like, really helpful. Oh, shoot. Oh, we got dive kicks. Ow. No. Ooh, low stance. Oh, that was smart. Gengar is really good in this game. I mean, I agree. I think that Gengar... Oh, man, you're a Kirby man. I'm sorry. <laughs> Kirby... I don't know why Kirby keeps getting hit with stuff. Like, that character is... He's struggled a little bit. Um, hang on, Solanera. I'm looking for the group ID. I'll have to find it after the match. I was lied to. I was told that that always hits. Oh shoot. 
That was nice. Uh, Kirby's up tilt is ridiculous in Smash 64. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, Kirby in Smash 64 was a problem. happening to me. <laughs> has better anti-earth than 90% of all fighting game characters. Yeah, I saw that. It, like, <laughs> hit me and I was expecting to fall. It just froze me. Oh, yeah, uh, best of two. Uh, best of two, best of two. So I want to fight Weavile one more time. I mean, best of three, my bad. <laughs> best of two is one game. Best of three. <laughs> Best of two, I mean, uh, wow, best of three, two game, two wins, <laughs> two wins. All right, so we got sweet team now. We have Alice nuts in this game, she's so fast. Yeah, she is really fast. <laughs> like, I was trying to react to some of the stuff, I was like, oh, this is kind of fast. Yeah, no, it's like, uh, speed doesn't equal the best, but it definitely makes you a pretty good character if your character has a lot of movement speed. At least as far as other fighting games come.
hitting the hangar using that too. That's actually a really helpful tool. The shadow punch like that. Suicune gang. Thing is, she can't really do much at a distance. Yeah. It's like Weavile has to be super close, but she doesn't really have that much problem <laughs> getting close. Uh, I learned Suicune and Wii U. I haven't touched them since. Really? I think that counts as a physical hit. game good game uh one more please oh sure yeah 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 we can play one more do best of two with sweet king oh, i keep saying best of two best of three with sweet king because i'm thinking two win but i'm meaning best of three <laughs> Switching again. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff going on with Sweet I mean, I think there's a lot going on with all the characters in this game, honestly. The only characters that seem like not crazy. Oh, I'm sorry, Solanero. I'll get you the ID, the group ID. It's in the chat somewhere. I have to scroll up. It's pretty long, yeah. Um, where was that? Uh, it might be gone. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back. Yeah, Juke Gang and then Juke Gang is the password. <laughs> hmm. 
Okay, so counterattacks track. That's good to know. Good game, Zay. You have a me do. Sorry about the lag spike. No problem. It's net play. Trust me, I've dealt with worse <laughs> in some of the games that I play. This actually seems like the netcode is actually pretty good. Let's call you Midu. Will do, Midu. But yeah, good games. That was fun. Uh, Sceptile has a lot going on too. I think he has a lot more going on than some of the than Sweeping does. I wasn't expecting him to be able to like stance shift so quickly with like Giga Drain and Leaf Blade. I was like, what? What is going on? I'm gonna head out of chat. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for the games. Thanks for stopping by and chatting with us. Oh yeah, Sol and Arrow, it is a group. It is group. Cause group number, cause groups got ID numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it does have an ID number. Breaksin is fun. Yeah, Breaksin is pretty cool. Uh, it does have an ID number. I just have to get it because it's long. It was in the chat, but it's gone now. First to five with Chandelure. Well, um, we can. Okay, we can do a first to five. I have to get the um. Group ID for Soul and Arrow, though. We'll just count it. Like, the outcome of this game, it'll still count for the first to five. But I'll get the group ID for him and then come back. Question is counterattack is that frame one? Like can you wake up counterattack or should you like block first? Cause I've noticed I try to do it and I wake up and usually get hit. Alright, give me one second. Alright, uh Solanero. Counterattack gets armor frame one. Oh okay, so I'm just missing it. Zero five eight four five eight three three seven four seven. There we go. All right, so one zero for the first five. Pikachu seems interesting. Like, the moves that Pikachu has are, look cool. <laughs> so I thought about playing Pikachu too.
I think after I properly learn Suicune, I might secondary Pikachu. Yeah, Pikachu looks really cool from what I've seen. uppercut his damage output isn't like the best but he's fun he seems to have good like pressure tools and stuff like that so that's two two zip since we're doing our first to five I kind of want a second Lucario, or Machamp, and I know which one's better, <laughs> but Machamp's just so hype. Yeah, from what I've heard, he has good neutral and pressure. I mean, that's fine by me. Pikachu is not top tier, but is good. Yeah, that seems about right for where it seems like he should be. See if I can get some W's on Pikachu. This is actually the first time I'm fighting Pikachu too. Gotta get this matchup knowledge going. Oh, uh, they're not moving. Hello. Hello, there you are. Armor too. I didn't know that. Okay. Hmm. I actually did a lot better that game against the Pikachu. I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm trying to figure out how I get around Thunder, because, <laughs> I mean, I'm assuming I'm just supposed to block it, but <laughs> I don't want to block it. I don't like blocking. Like that. Oh, 
I probably should have dash canceled that one. Oh, you can grab after that? Okay. That's good to know. Twice. <laughs> All right. Three zip. <laughs> uh, it's kind of funny how the DLC has the arguably worst and arguably best characters in the game. <laughs> oh, really? Blastoise is that bad? I actually have seen nothing about Blastoise, so I guess that actually makes sense. <laughs> yep, 3-0. Uh, I personally think Blastoise is the worst by far. Like, he has almost nothing. <laughs> but he has that cool dance when the, with the rain dance. <laughs> That's enough, right? That's all he needs. I actually haven't even read with these, do you? Special seems okay, but I'm gonna stick with support. Uh, he's good at mid range. He has a whole roster in his bad matchups. He's not the worst character to get technical. The worst character in terms of tier list is Krogunk. Hmm. Does Krogunk lose to everybody in the game? <laughs> Two? Glad I didn't go that route then, because actually I kind of wanted to play Krogunk, but if he's that bad, then I'm glad I picked Gengar. Most of his moves are hardly unsafe without the continuation. Hmm. far away. I couldn't even tell. I thought he was like right next to me doing fourth palm. Uh, has moves for the most part have slow startup and even if some of them are safe, not all of them are. I looked at a bunch of characters frame data yesterday and like, in my opinion, he has the worst one. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, it doesn't flinch, uh, armor. So, like, how, am I supposed to add to here with that when they're <laughs> in that mode? Then you wouldn't know it's worse. So, like, when they're in Synergy Burst, do I just block? That's 4 -0, right? I'm pretty sure that's 4 -0. We got one more. If I lose... Godrobar is not too good. 
I have firm data is decently safe. <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> I'm guessing Guard of War is uh, top 10. I didn't know Guard of War was that good. I mean Guard of War. <laughs> okay, but to be fair, are you downplaying Guard of War because you know all of her like flaws? Or are you just... Or is it true? Like, is she actually, like, not very good? Because I do that sometimes with my characters. I'll say, like, they're terrible. And then... Well, I guess I'm more memeing, so never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. I just want to have a conversation with you guys. I actually thought that would actually flinch because, um, charge X. <laughs> From what I've seen, X button, uh, strong attacks are really the only things that flinch when they're in, uh, synergy burst. So I just assumed that would <laughs> flinch. But, it does look like a pretty weak hit, so it makes sense that it doesn't. <laughs> oh, he jumped over it. games. Um, I don't think any character in this game is necessarily awful. I think Gardevoir is just fine because you can do more than many other characters. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought that was 5-0. I mean, I don't mind me switching to Gardevoir for the last game. One more than I win. So let's see, I fought Weavile, Chandelure, I fought Pikachu twice, and now I'm fighting Gardevoir. Yeah, this is the fifth game. Because I lost the Chandelure, right? I did. That was a different Chandelure that I beat. <laughs> that was, um... What's his name? Navy?
Oh, that just kind of killed my shadow ball. <laughs> It's player dependent. And up close she dies. I don't know about dies. Crap, I'm getting hit by that like that. <laughs> Good game. <laughs> yeah, she is, but she's not stupidly good at it. I don't know. I didn't know how to get around any of that. <laughs> I'm just well, good games, Nidu. Appreciate it. That was fun. Uh, Soul and Arrow, are you still in the queue? Yes, you are. <laughs> Which is why most people don't pick her up. Um, you most won't know most of her mechanics. Yeah, she seemed to have some interesting things. Like, I saw that she kept making the bomb that blew up. Um, <laughs> I was like, okay, it froze it for hypnosis, so maybe it'll freeze it if I throw again. <laughs> that it, <laughs> he dashed at you like that. Ooh. I did. Yep. <laughs> In mid-range, she's okay, but she's mostly an Okazime and Zona character. Which isn't bad. Like, well, I mean, she doesn't seem to be a bad Zoner. There are definitely bad Zoners in existence. 
Uh, she can get him, but she has to do meaties and future sites to pu push out the opponent. You just spam then you're probably gonna lose. <laughs> His throw range is so big. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Sceptile just stretches his arm out at you. I didn't know I didn't know his throw range was that big. didn't want to go for the second lick. As soon as I did it, I was like, oh, this is minus. I'm about to die. <laughs> well, what other characters are you naming? Um, well, one of them is Gardevoir. You said it earlier. Um, I don't know. Lucario seems pretty good. Oh, he doesn't seem bad. Gardevoir and Brexton? Oh. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. If you don't want to play three characters, so Lucario might be the one to go. I mean, but I would say have three. Wait, wasn't it best of three? Oh, yes, but I thought everyone else was out of the queue. Sorry, Midu, I thought you were leaving. <laughs>
Ouch. <laughs> That tile's pretty wild. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do for, against him. No, I probably should have did mine. Uh, I'm going on hiatus tomorrow, so if you want to play a little itsy bit, that would be fun. Yeah, no problem. I love Command Grab Super so much. <laughs> like, I really don't feel like I deserve to win that round, but that's because of how Command Grabs work. <laughs> I saw him put up the shield and I was like, I'm gonna do a command grab super <laughs> and he can't jump out of it. They're just really wonky like that. <laughs> I did regular grab that actually would have worked. <laughs> I did hypnosis, but you hit me before it started. Well, it might have worked, I don't know. Alright, so Midu, you're still in the group, right? Because I thought there was nobody else in the group, so I was just going to keep playing with Soul and Arrow. Hello, Neo, I'm at the top of the rankings in this group. Well, I'm pretty sure you beat everybody, <laughs> so <laughs> that makes sense. character seems pretty, uh, unga. <laughs> well, that makes, uh, two of you, because I think that I'm still pretty bad at this.
what I do, Shadow Ball. You know, I was looking at that and I was like, that's not meant to hit me. I'm about to get grabbed. And I did counterattack anyway. Involved that went through my attack like that. <laughs> I just do crackhead things with Septile. <laughs> you too, huh? I just do crackhead things with Gengar. I think my field phase is pretty okay. You actually were doing like setting up combos and stuff in field phase. I was like, oh, this, um, there's a lot of septile happening right now. Uh, this will be a best of three. Because I have to. Solanero is still waiting in the group, too. Y'all go ahead, I had to leave for a bit. Oh, okay. Well, that's the five then. <laughs> uh, I, only, I only know combos with Lucario Burst. I really don't understand how Lucario's combos work, like, at all. <laughs> I tried, and I was like, so... Down Y is the only combo there is. I didn't know you could jump out of that. Oh, only charged, okay. Yeah, I lost. <laughs> I love how he's just on the ground. <laughs> like, I was standing there when it timed up and he just laid down. <laughs>
that was perfectly timed because if that far fetched was more meaty, it would have hit me. If I was a second off from hitting it, that far fetched would have hit me. Oh damn, did I steal all that synergy from him? Sceptile doesn't have a real reversal like some other characters do, so he can be grabbed out of some of his panic options. Aha. I feel like that's with a lot of characters though. That's fair. <laughs> that one I played a lot better. I don't even know where we are. Was well, that two? <laughs> I think that was two. Uh, one thing's for certain. What's that, uh, media? I'm never playing that matchup ever. <laughs> I was about to say, it seemed like that matchup kind of sucked for Pikachu Libre. You're getting kind of good at feeling out the grabs. Yeah, I feel like that's probably the biggest thing that I need to get down. And then once I have that, I'm thinking it's going to be like good because I pretty much already have the combos. Well, you know, I still drop them every now and then. And I'm not super good on Charizard. Because... <laughs> They just don't work on him for some reason. But you know, it's all good. <laughs> it's like him and Suicune, it's like I have to hit them really specific way. Actually, yeah, I like that. I like that emote a lot. That's pretty funny. 
Let's see if there's... I can't read it. Why did I... I need to understand how the homing works in this game. Shadow Punch is hitbox. Why yo? Zard got a whole lot of moves with lingering hitboxes. You like never block? I block so much. What do you mean? <laughs> I keep blocking. I feel like I've been actually quite patient. <laughs> I've been feeling now grabs. I start mashing when you grab. Blocking it for pros only. I guess I'm a pro then. Damn, where's my medal? <laughs> Blocking is good in every fighting game. Blocking will always be good for you. I'm trying to get used to like homing in and then blocking right before I get to you. But like, I'm just not that good yet. <laughs> so I'll home in and I'll just do the first hit at home and then just stand there. <laughs> I can block so I'm a pro. Exactly. See? As long as you can block, you're a pro. So, you're a pro. You're a pro, Harry. <laughs> Wait, where? How many was that? Was that three? That time I actually did try to block it. <laughs> it just didn't work for me. That time I was blocking, see? <laughs> so mashers are not pros. Nope. I mean, I've seen pros mash out of plenty. Actually, this game kind of encourages mashing in certain circumstances. Did that hit me for Tekken? I didn't know who got hit. Right. 
<laughs> I got a round. Low level mash. Low level masher is not high level. <laughs> Yeah, this is another close one. I really gotta get that down. Maybe after I finish streaming, I'll go to practice and just practice doing that. So that gets me, wow, I'm level 70 already, holy crap. <laughs> I never played Charizard, fun fact. Yeah, but you play Pokemon, fundamentals carry over. I just watch a good player and someone's like, ooh, let me pick him up for right, right now. Yeah. Fundamentals carry over. Same way I learn new characters in the fighting games that I play. Once you understand how the flow of battle is supposed to go in this game, I feel like you can pretty much pick up any of the characters. And then you just have to figure out what their little quirks are. Decidueye. We're definitely past five. I'm pretty sure. I think. I don't know what number we're on. <laughs> we might not be. This one might be four, actually. Decidueye is arguably top three, really. I mean, he seems pretty good. I fought quite a bit of Decidueye. <laughs> like, that's most of what I fought, even in the lower tiers, like, of the rankings. When I was trying to do rank, that's most of what I fought with Decidueye. I tried it. I tried to be funny. <laughs> I tried to be get cute. Oh. He 
Too slow. That was at like the literal last second. <laughs> like the literal last Farfetched. That's good to know. <laughs> That's actually what I wanted to test. I was like, can I just go through Farfetched if I need this? <laughs> jumped <laughs> okay. I will take that the game cheated for me I will take it <laughs> I'm not arguing thank you game <laughs> not the lag at the last second element <laughs> Hey, you know, like sometimes I just gotta take it. Like, you know, I can't lose because I already won. So, like, I just gotta kinda accept that the game let me win. <laughs> sometimes net play is on your side. Very rarely, but sometimes. <laughs> um, is there anyone else still in the group? There is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, is there anyone still here? Looks like it's all narrow. Playing Scizor now. Scizor is really cool too, not gonna lie. See you later, Mewdo. Thanks for stopping in. And good games. I thought I got hit. <laughs> no, I was like, wait, I have so much health, how did I die?
Why can't these scissors? That's weird. Because, like, that was the option that was beating mine when, uh, Midu was doing it. But for some reason, I can do it and it just hits Sigor. And I believe you are the last one in the queue, Solanero. I don't think there's anyone else at the moment. I could be wrong though. There might be someone here. I do like Sizzler, but it seems like he's one of the characters that gets zoned out too. Oh shit, that last one. That was nice. Starting to understand the game a little better. Today was a really productive day. Um, I'm gonna have to go soon though, because I have to go pick up dinner. I can probably wait until 4.30, so that's probably when I'll end the stream. It'll give us about 20 minutes or so. Get our game on. <laughs>
Oh, that looks cool. I didn't know he could do that. See you later, Billy Bob. Thanks for stopping in. Appreciate the view and the follow. Oh, nice jump. And I think that punished the support summon. I wonder if they're going to end up adding new characters to this game at all. I actually think I might have been okay if I just blocked. <laughs> play if I just waited. Tried to play defense.
Synergy Burst Gengar clutching it out once again. Oh, I won barely. <laughs> That's unfortunate. If you had finished, if you were able to finish that combo, I would have lost to the time. <laughs> Zero bonus. Still learning Scizor, so it's a bit rough. That's understandable. No judgment here. Wow, I caught you in the air. I saw that. That was bullshit. <laughs> Shadow Ball. Must have tapped you on the way down. Ooh, nice. 
Oh, I pressed throw too. Yeah, that's time up. You got that one. <laughs> It would have been better if I had Umbreon that game. Umbreon, I think it's the better out of the two. Espeon just charges faster before I get the support boost thing. easiest combo so don't want to drop it I wish you could cancel uh shadow punch like forward and back X I wish you could cancel those into um R when it goes into the ground that would be nice. Probably too good, but it, it would be nice. in the throw. It didn't kill. I should have did a combo. Oh, okay. I'll take it. <laughs> That's interesting. I don't get the support boost um, on time ups.
bullet punch is really fast. That start up though. <laughs> Alright, Gengar. It's energy burst Gengar is a mess. <laughs> Mega Gengar is tragic. Alright, this will be the last game, Solanero. And then I gotta go. But uh, good games, and good games to everyone else that I played today. In case you're still around. I am responsible for going to pick up dinner tonight, so I am going to have to go. Um, I'll be back streaming again tomorrow. I'll start a little later because, you know, I have to go back to work tomorrow. But, I will be streaming. It'll probably be around 3.30, 4 o'clock that I start. So, just check or check back or hit the notification thing so you get the notification when I start streaming if you would like to see me stream again tomorrow. Um, I haven't decided what I'm going to stream yet. I'm thinking it's going to be Blaze Blue, but... That was a nice second we played. <laughs> that was kind of funny. <laughs>
Oh, I was holding back. I was trying to block. Smart jump. Nicely done, nicely done, Solar Nero. Well, with that, I have to bid you adieu. Thanks again for joining in and playing with me. I actually learned a whole lot about this game today. Like, a lot. <laughs> so I am grateful to everyone who helped me with that. Um, thank you everyone for playing, thanks for coming through, thanks for talking. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow if you tune in. I'm going to play either Blaze Blue or this. I might play Smash too, I don't know yet. We'll see, I'll tweet what I'm playing <laughs> when I know. But uh, thanks everybody for tuning in, and I will catch you guys next time.